All right, uh, hello and welcome everybody to Card Making TV Live. This is test broadcast number five. We're getting up this early. Anyway, it's card making time. Uh, looks like, uh, as, as I said, if anybody's watched this card making before, I've no idea what the wife's making then I'm as surprised as what you are. But she has to concentrate so much on making the card so that uh, I can uh, do the commentary for you. So she's obviously in, in her hand got a uh, a folder thing made of plastic and uh, I'm not sure what they're called. Embossing folder, that's it. It's an embossing folder. And what she's going to do is with that, is that a magnetic strip? What's the black thing? Oh, I, hang on. Let me just read it. So, uh, it's a 3D embossing folder. Okay, here we go then. So what are we going to do now? Oh, dear me. We'd, we're rolling some stuff off uh, off a pad. Now, well, is that a gluey pad or is that a... Uh, it's an ink pad. So it's an ink pad. So what we're doing is, rather than putting the ink straight onto the embossing folder, what we're doing is we're going to put the ink, by the looks of it, onto the to the uh, it onto the embossing folder so here we go look yeah so that's what we're doing there we're we're just sliding that over onto there what color is that by the way if you can just show the uh, the color in a minute to the camera then people can see what color you're using it's a yellow. But see, now we're putting this on with a roller rather than what you normally do when you're doing stamping is uh, you, you sort of stamp it on there. There we are. That's... Uh... So then, then what we're going to do now... I've no idea. This is quite exciting, isn't it? So we now put the card in the folder. Yeah, that goes in there like that. And we fold it down. Yep, that's all folded down. That's lovely, isn't it? And now we're going to take the, uh, the embossing folder over to the... Is it a Gem Gemini? And put it through the Gemini. And when it comes out of the Gemini, here it comes out and it's all embossed. So that's printed on there as, and it's embossed the paper, is it? Yeah. Do you turn the paper over so I can see the shadow on it? Oh, I can't see how you do that. No, the back side of it, because then you'll see the embossing, won't you? But do it at an angle. Yeah. You can't really see... Oh, yes, you can. Yeah. Yeah, you can see it's embossed. Yeah. Okay, then, off you go. Stage two. Ah, that's it. Ah, now you can see the embossing. Well done. Thank you. That's far, far better. Yeah, we can see the, we can see the embossing on that. Yep. Yeah. That's okay, that is. Yeah, right. So, uh... Now we're going to stick that. What are we sticking that onto? So we're going to stick that onto the card. How do we, how do we stick that on? I if you can see again. Uh, this is only a test copy, and you can see that we've got uh, some flashing on the screen there from the fluorescent fittings that we're using. So obviously I've got to change the lighting style, so we can get rid of that. Uh, Anyway, we're going, and we're not using the uh, the super glue gun. We're using a different type of, and we're using tape. So let's just stick the tape on. Tape on that side. Tape on that side. So it looks like uh, the way to do things like this is to tape both sides, uh, the left and the right, and then put one through the middle. That's very good. And then uh, what you're going to do is uh, just peel peel the uh, Peel the tape off, and the tape comes off quite easily by the looks of it, doesn't it? Uh, it looks very finicky, blue. Oh, there we go. And we've got the tape off. Uh, we've nearly got the tape tape off now. There he comes. It's not too bad at all, is it? The tape. The tape comes off, and then we lay the card on top the face on top of the other one yes. and we press it down nice and solidly I'm not going to use the magic thing I made her 
Right. So next, uh, we're obviously going to do the sentiment in the uh, in the middle. Is that our next bit? We got. Oh, oh, no, this looks rather pretty. This does, doesn't it? So let's have a let's have a look at that. Yes, that's. Uh, so that's the card as it looks finished. So what are we going to do with it now? I wonder. And if you've noticed, uh, my happy viewers out there, that uh, I've added an extra camera. So we've got two cameras now. We've got the overhead camera, which is the one you're looking at now. And then we've got a side-on view camera there, uh, which you can see what we're doing there. Uh, we're, I, I don't know what we're doing there at all. She's got something in her hand there. and She's putting glue on it, or is she putting colour on it? Oh, it's definitely a colour. It looks like grey, a grey colour. If you was to hold that up to the camera, then we could see what colour it was, couldn't we? Anyway. Oh, yeah, it's one of those distress thingies. Yeah. So what are we going to do now? Oh, yeah, distress oxide. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Okay, thank you. So I don't think we've, all, all, all we've done is really given those those bits there a, a bit of background and, and what we're creating, creating similar to what we did on the uh, the other card the other day is, is created a sort of a three D effect. And we're going to sort of just stick those on. Uh, stick the one that goes on the bottom first, which is that one. That's it. And then we stick the second one on. That's very clever, isn't it? And then... Did, did I count three? I think I did count three. Yeah. Put the glue on with the magic glue gun. Very clever, isn't it? The magic glue gun. So that's going on next. There we go. So that sort of created a, a, a 3D effect on the card, which is, uh, ah, so that's uh, obviously a weight we're using there, uh, so just holding, uh, holding it down while the glue sets. Well, we've got some... Uh, Oh, we are getting some positive feedback on people who are watching the videos. We, we do appreciate that. Uh, we're new to this. Uh, well, I'm new to this. The wife's uh, been doing cards for many, many years. Well, two, three years. And as I say, she makes cards for charity, basically. And somebody said, well, why don't you uh, do a few videos? So she twisted, twisted my arm. And uh, here we are. This is what we're doing. She doesn't like uh, going live on on screen uh you know doing the audio so i said well look, i can do a talk over it's not a problem as long as we do it live i won't do it i can't record a video and then talk over the top of it i like to do it as she's doing it then uh, the wife can tell me uh what she's up to and how how, how it's going which is uh, which is quite clever isn't it really uh which so are just trimming trimming this off i don't, don't know what we're doing there that looks very finicky, doesn't it? Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah. Those those raised bits. Uh, what it was obviously a little bit too long, so she's just cutting those off there, which uh, which is quite good, isn't it? Uh, there we go. They're all cut off now. So what are we going to do now? I'm not sure what she's got in her hand now. Uh, I don't know what that is at all. Anyway, let's uh, carry on. Oh. No, it's a tree. Is it a tree? No idea. Oh, it's a snowman. <laughs> oh, I do. I do like snowmen. You can tell it's Christmas, can't you, folks? It's actually the middle of November at the moment, and uh, after the two storms we've had go through, uh, 
the weather's turned out quite nice the last couple of days we've had a couple of sunny days which has been nice uh, for those people who don't realize we're we're actually in the uk we're in norfolk north norfolk and in a place called wells next to the sea which is a lovely little fishing village if ever you're in england visit norfolk and visit wells two of the best fish and chip shops well that i know of we can never decide which one to use anyway she's sticking loads of these little things on uh so carry on looking at them they uh they looked very very good oh dear yeah it's doing very well unfortunately we've just lost uh the overhead camera for some unknown reason the overhead camera has gone off so i presume it's run out of battery i uh, must make sure next time when i make these things uh, that uh, i load the batteries up anyway we can carry on watching with the side view camera that's not a problem is it and oh oh it looks like we've got a christmas tree that is going to go into open if you could move that uh, sellotape dispenser out of the way blue greatly appreciated because it uh, it's covered no, that's better thank you very much that's really nice of you so, well i was right with it being a tree but i didn't realize it was going to be a, a f oh look at this this is looking stunning now isn't it Stick that down like that. How did you make the Christmas? You can't just turn up and make something like that without showing people how to make the Christmas tree. Ah, uh -huh. oh, she's not happy with that. Let's put it down again. If at first you do not succeed, try and try again. That's what I say. Ah. Uh -huh. I hope you're watching very carefully, folks, because I am. She hasn't swore yet. Oh, look at this. Oh. Now, 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 you see, we're going to have to do a video, a whole video on how to make that Christmas tree, aren't we? Hey. Very, very clever. I don't know how she's got the patience to do this. I... I think if I'd have done this, I'd have put it in the bin by now. But, uh, oh, look at that. Isn't that lovely? There we go. It's a really nice card, this, isn't it? Oh, it's going to have a star, not an angel. Oh, oh, we forgot something. Let's go down. Let's go down to the other end of the workshop and we can see what we can find, shall we? What have we got here? Ah. Uh, ah. Oh, it's like uh, serviette. Is it serviettes? Tissue paper. Yeah. Could you just hold that down a little bit further, down a bit? So you actually buy the paper, look, honeycombed. Like, where, where do you get that from, Lynn? The honeycomb shop. Do they do that chocolate honeycomb as well? You know, the one I like that comes inside of a grungy bar. No, no, sorry. Keep keep to the subject. So there you go. You just you just buy the paper. Isn't that brilliant? Isn't that clever? So you, so you don't need to make it. You just cut it out of the honeycomb paper and then just, oh, well, isn't life easy these days? Hey, go. Look at that. Isn't that lovely? That is really, really good. I do like it. As a matter of fact, I know the overhead camera packed up, uh, and I do apologise for that, but uh, the actual picture from the side camera is quite good, isn't it? I, I actually quite like this angle. Uh, and if, if we hold the card up uh, to the camera so we can see it, we've got a snowman on it. and Oh, we're going to move the snowman. Where are you going? He got fed up being there. Ah, oh, that's better. Ah, oh, yes, look at that. There we go. And hold it up to the camera. 
now down a bit that's really really good so what are you going to do now then you're going to put uh, oh yeah that's better look at that wow and and then we've got a nice little sentiment going on that's going at the bottom is that stuck down as well yep I put a little bit of glue on there is that battery powered that glue gun or is it just no uh, no uh, just pressure it's yeah, that's very clever isn't it well well i am very pleased i am pleased with that that is uh one <coughs> really nice card isn't it uh, and what are we going to do now so what's that called stickles are we did we use this the other day no yes I was able to just putting these. This is like little uh, onto the Christmas tree. Look. Ah, it's the little lights. Of course it is. Yeah, that's very clever. Yeah, I, I do like that. Uh, that's very, very clever. Yeah. And, and, and how many different colours have you got? Blue? Loads of them? Five, oh, five colours, that's quite good, isn't it? It looks like we've got a bit of... Looks like, oh, this is, lot, this is gold. I, I suppose like most things, you've got to know when to stop, or otherwise you, know, you can just go on too long and... Uh, I won't say ruin it, but you can you know, sort of overkill, I think, don't you? But uh, this is looking very good. Nice Christmas card, that. And as I say, with that honeycomb paper, which you buy from the honey... She's winding me up, I think, honeycomb shop. I'm sure she is. I, I bet it comes from uh, one of those suppliers from somewhere. Uh... Ah, it comes from Amazon. You get everything on Amazon these days, can't you? And it's called honeycomb. So go to Amazon, type in honeycomb paper. And do you have to order all the separate colours or does it come in a... It comes in a Christmas pack. So there you go, Christmas honeycomb paper. And you too can make a beautiful card like this. Don't forget, if you've got any queries or questions, uh, just put them in the comments underneath and we will get back to you. I do promise. Uh, We'd like to, uh, yeah, be like a, a community. We're hoping to, uh, with the wife not listening, is, is she's actually going to start opening up and, and doing workshops for people in the village. Uh, now she's going to spray it with something. What's she going to spray? It's like, it's, what's that, a hair lacquer just to hold it solid? Spray and oh, spray and sparkle. Wow. Got something of everything, isn't she? Look at that card. Is that now finished? That look, that looks very good. If you can uh, just hold, hold, hold it down, hold, hold, hold it down to the camera. Test copy number five. Uh, we're going to do a few. Uh, I don't think we've got it really perfect yet at the moment. I tell you with the camera set up and the sound and uh, everything. So, well, all we want to do is thank you very much for watching. Uh, be good. Be happy. Uh, most of all, be kind to those wonderful animals. Bye. <laughs>